Where are my eyes looking? One's looking one way, one's looking the other. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Since I'm becoming a master at self-portraiture, I thought today I would create another three self-portraits. And this time I'm going to be using regular pastels, oil pastels, and watercolour paint. So three portraits in one video. And I'm looking forward to it, you know? Practice makes perfect. And I've had a lot of practice now, so these should look great. Okay, so I'm just going to be doing all of these portraits on just paper. So nothing fancy, no canvases, no nothing like that. And I thought I would start off with my least favourite medium, and that's oil pastel. I absolutely can't stand oil pastels, because for some reason, whenever I use oil pastels, it always looks really muddy. I can never make it look vibrant and colourful. It just always looks... Just looks like poo. It's the same with oil paint, to be fair. I'm absolutely awful when it comes to oils. But you know, today might be a day that I master oil pastels, I don't know. It's been many years since I've used oil pastels. I bought this little box though, how nice is that? Look at all them colours. I'm not going to sketch it out or anything like that, because I think for all of these, I want to go in for like a blocky, layered self-portrait. I really convinced myself that I knew what I was talking about then, I don't. What colour is my face? I feel like it's this colour. This oil pastel is called skin coloured, but it's like, yeah, it's skin coloured for some people, but not everyone. Not everyone's skin colours like that. See, this colour's just called dark brown. Racist pack of pastels. Well, it is skin colour, so I'm just going with those instructions. I can see myself in the viewfinder, so I know what my face looks like. Got quite a lot of forehead going on today. That kind of looks like my face shape, doesn't it? I don't think the top of my head's that flat. But I'm going to add hair, so it's fine. I know my t-shirt's white, but I'm just going to make it all green, because there's bits of green on it. Shall I draw glasses on first? I'll do my, I'll do my eyes first. Your yeah, eyes are slightly above your ears, aren't they? They're not exactly... Oh, I don't know. Uh... Oh, I think that looks all right. I hate noses. I hate noses so much. I'll do that and I'll try and do some shading to make a nose. Because oil pastels are blendable as well, so you can push it around a bit. Lips. What colour are my lips today? Are my lips lighter than my skin colour? No, they're a bit darker. We'll go for this pink, but I think this is too pink. And I need to leave room for my moustache and my beard, because I forgot last time with my mosaic one. I don't really smile a lot either, so I'm just going to do my mouth closed, because I'm miserable. The thing is, this is just the basics, okay? This is just preliminary. It's gonna get better. I've got quite a thick tash going on at the minute because I haven't trimmed it, so I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna look like potato head or something. Oh, now that I've got the facial hair on, that's looking exactly like us. Oh, this, this is great. This is easy. I was worried for nothing. I'm wondering, shall I add my cap or shall I leave my cap off? I'll add my cap, why not? Oh, the cap might have been a mistake. What is my cap? It's like a graffiti print. I'll just make this up, I think. Maybe I'm better at oil pastel than I thought it was. This isn't going as bad as I thought it was going to. Because when I say I'm bad at oil pastel and I don't like it, I mean like I'm really bad at it. I think I'm doing an okay job so far. Look at that. I think this is the best I've done. I just need to go in with some details now. Yeah, word of advice, if you're going to use oil pastels, leave black to last. Because the black just... it just gets everywhere. The thing is, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul. Where are my eyes looking? One's looking one way, one's looking the other. I also don't think that's my skin colour at all. Right, I need to try a little bit of like blending or contour or something. Because my nose has disappeared now. I think that's the best my nose is going to look. I'm going to have to make my moustache a little bit bigger. See, that's the thing with oil pastel. I find it so hard to get any kind of detail. It's just a very hard medium to work with. I don't know whether anyone else agrees with us, but I just I struggle so much. See, this is the issue I have. Everything just starts to blend together. Oh, 
All right, I think I might be done because the more and more I work on it, the more and more everything just blends together and it's gonna start to look really muddy. <laughs> But there we go. I don't think it looks too bad. I couldn't really touch the eyes much because of the black for the glasses. And I was really worried that the black was just going to start to mush together into the eyes. Surprisingly, I don't think my nose is looking too bad, considering I really struggle with noses. Also, my neck's really thin. And so is my body. My body's really small. It's completely out of proportion. But I've still surprised myself because I, I really thought this oil pastel self-portrait was just going to be a big blob of nothingness. And the fact that it even somewhat resembles us. You know, I'm, I'm calling it a win. I'm calling it a win. I'll show you a closer up with all of them once I've got the rest of them done. Okay, so for the next self-portrait, I'm going to be using just regular old pastels. These chalky kind of pastels. And I love this medium. I find it so easy to work with. Mainly because they're just way nicer to blend. Oil pastels, they're just, they're just really hard. Like if a chunk of black gets into any of the other colours, you're screwed. Whereas with these, you can kind of like dust it away and get rid of it. So it's a lot more of a forgiven material. But again, I haven't used proper pastels in many, many years. So I don't know whether it's going to go that well. I think it'll be better than the oil pastel one though. What skin colour do you think I am? I don't think I'm that light. Am I that dark? I am quite light, aren't I? I'll probably just go for this one. Also, I know that a lot of you left comments on my last mosaic video to do different kinds of self-portraits. So I think there was resin, a potato print, food, and Lego. And I think I'm definitely gonna do that. I was debating which one to do. I think resin will be the most difficult. Well, to be fair, I think they're all gonna be difficult. But I think I might do them all in one video. So Lego, food, a potato print, and resin. So let me know in the comments if that's what you wanna see. Or if you wanna see something different as well. And the thing is, it's quite embarrassing me making myself portrait because you guys send us pictures of myself and paintings of myself that you have done and you do such a good job. It always puts us to shame, especially Kevin. Kevin always sends us some pictures on Instagram of self portraits from my video that I've just done and they're fantastic. They're absolutely amazing. So thank you very much, Kevin, for sending in your paintings and your drawings. I absolutely love them. You are just so creative, way more creative than I am. I feel like I'm off to a good start and I don't want to ruin it. I'm putting the black on last. I've learnt my lesson. That's always another thing I struggle with is hair. I don't understand how people draw it. It's just impossible. I know it's looking super rough at the minute, but the magic happens with these pastels when you start to blend it all. I really hope. It's definitely going to be like a different vibe from the oil pastel one. I think it's going to be a little bit more ethereal. What a nice word that is, ethereal. And now I need to go in with some shading, some detail, and really make this come to life. All right, well, I think, I think I'm done. Oh, I don't know. I've definitely made some mistakes. So there we have my regular pastel self-portrait. And for some reason, I got carried away with the cheeks. Like, my cheeks look really swollen and massive. And the top part of my face is completely out of proportion. I realised as soon as I started to do the glasses that I'd made a mistake. I actually think I prefer the oil pastel one. I think the oil pastel one looks more like us. This one, I don't know who this is, but it's... <laughs> It's not me. Okay, so it's time for my watercolour self-portrait. And I'm not the best at watercolour. I think it was last year I painted the Great British Countryside in watercolour. You can see that video up there if you haven't seen it. And it went okay, but it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't great. I'm just, I'm just not very good at realistic things. I don't mind abstract, but realism, I just can't do it. The thing is as well with realism, and I remember when I was at uni and stuff like that, other people used to always get proper slagged off when they would paint something hyper-realistic because the tutor would always say, what's the point of painting something hyper-realistic or drawing something hyper-realistic? 
when you can just take a photograph. And that always stuck with us, because, yeah, you can paint a lovely self-portrait, but I could just take a photograph of myself. I know there's an incredible amount of skill involved, and I'm... 100% jealous that I couldn't do it. And I don't know, like, hyperrealism's never really excited me or anything. And I think that's probably why, because of my tutors constantly saying, like, what's the point? And there's, there's truth in it. There is truth in it. There'll be some people who really disagree and they'll be really pissed off that I've said that. And I, I understand why, because it's almost like someone shitting on your talent and shitting on your skills. I don't know. Let, let me know your thoughts. Is that controversial? Anyway, let's try and do my self-portrait in watercolour. And I know for a fact there is not my skin tone in this palette. I think I'm gonna be orange. I know they always say with watercolour to get your lighter colours down first and then you build it up in layers. And I think that's what I've been trying to go for this entire time. But for some reason my brain just stops us doing that. I think that's a really nice start. It might not look like much, but I feel like it's it's good. I think this might look really nice, actually. Oh, I feel like I'm off to a way better start with that. I've just realized the head's way bigger than the shoulders, but it, it, it's got more character, I'm liking it. Giving myself some big lips again. That was a mistake. This is looking so much better. Doesn't quite look like it's just yet, but it's looking it's looking the best. I hope I don't ruin it. I really hope I don't ruin it. I think I might be done. I was proper in the zone there. I was zoning out, focusing on my face. I actually really like this one. There we have it. The lips are a little bit off. I've done the shoulders really angular as well for some reason. They're not like curved. I'll show you all three of them together, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this one. So here we have them. So we've got the oil pastel one, the normal pastel one, and the watercolour one. And it's kind of a weird one because I like the watercolour one the best, even though I don't think it looks like as the most. I think the oil pastel one looks more like us. The regular pastel one, it just looks like I've been stung by a bee or something. Why are my cheeks so fat? Am I storing nuts? I don't know. And the lips are weird on that one. The lips are very strange on this one as well, as is the body. But I just think it looks smoother and neater than the other two. The eyes on the oil pastel one. Don't know what happened there. The nose doesn't look too bad. The, <laughs> the upper section. Oof. It's rough. Lower section, great. Upper section, no. This one, just the whole section bad. And this one, I just, yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of like that one. I like the hair on this one as well. I think I've done a good job. And the hat. I think the hat looks good. But vote down in the comments below which one you prefer. Do you prefer the oil pastel, the regular pastel, or the watercolour? And you're more than welcome to say you don't like either of them. I won't be offended. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with myself, even though an didn't go amazingly well. It didn't go disastrously bad. Like, I think each one of these portraits look way more like us than my little sculpture on my mosaic does. But anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I think I'm getting better. I really do. I think I'm getting better at this. But if you have any ideas of any materials you want to see me create a self-portrait with, then make sure to let me know in the comments below. And I'll give it my best shot. You know, it won't look great, but I'll try my best. Anyway, I'll see you next week for a brand new video.